Well, clearly the Minister doesn't have the confidence of the Prime Minister. He has been removed from key decision-making uh, things in his portfolio. I mean, when to stand up an aged care response centre in a state when there's an outbreak, I would have thought is a key responsibility of the Minister for Aged Care. Uh, so clearly he doesn't have the confidence of the Prime Minister. I think he's losing public confidence and Australians need to know that the aged care minister is up to the job and frankly, we don't think he is at the moment. Right, but Scott Morrison still has him in the role, so the evidence is he has enough faith in him. Are you saying Richard Colbeck should resign or should be sacked? We think the Prime Minister should uh, remove the Minister. Clearly the Minister has not been doing his job. To say that the missteps were that he didn't have the figures on Friday, I think, is a bit of an understatement. The missteps are that we have 353 residents who have died in aged care facilities. We've had over 3,000 infections in aged care facilities in Australia. We had warning bells from what happened in the Northern Hemisphere. We had the infections in Dorothy Henderson Lodge and Newmarch House in New South Wales. We had reports into those. They told us what could go wrong and then we had the same things go wrong in Victoria. Clearly, we didn't learn the lessons and clearly uh, whatever the federal government has been doing is clearly not enough. When they talk about missteps and being sorry for the things they got wrong, they need to be very clear about what they did get wrong and have confidence so people can have confidence that they've actually fixed it. Because at the moment, we're no, getting these no. sort of half-hearted right. sorries about things that have happened, but we're not getting very clear about what they did wrong and how they're fixing it. Uh, let's be very clear. Staff did not have proper training when it comes to personal protection and infection control. Staff did not have proper access to personal equipment that they needed. Uh, clearly, the, the surge workforce strategy was not sufficient. We've clearly had in Victoria a series of facilities and nursing homes where people have been left without the care they need, sometimes for days. The number cited by Scott Morrison was that four aged care homes have had major outbreaks in Victoria. He said mistakes were made and that was not acceptable. But given the scale of the outbreak, was it inevitable we were going to see aged care homes affected in this way in Victoria, that achieving a figure of zero homes with an outbreak was always very unlikely? Absolutely. When there's community transmission, you expect outbreaks. But what you expect is the federal government to have done its job and to have learnt the lessons of the outbreaks in New South Wales. That clearly didn't happen. We had the same issues happen in Victoria that we had happen in New South Wales mm. three months later. We had three months to get it right. We had three months where we shouldn't have had issues in some of these homes in Victoria. And let's be very clear, there are now 10 facilities that have more than 100 infections linked to them. So we're not just talking about four facilities, there's 129 facilities in Victoria that have had an aged care outbreak of some sort. Now all of the families who what have loved ones sort, in though? 129 facilities from? are sitting at home. There's one infection. Well, uh, is that an outbreak? I'm just I, I'm just asking what, what number we're talking about when you say 129. Absolutely, infections. absolutely it is. But imagine being somebody at home, Tom, who has uh, their family member in a facility that has, whether it be one or ten residents with COVID, thinking, will my loved one be next? What is going on in that facility? How do I find out? How All do right. I make sure my loved one gets the best care they need? That is the issue across 129 yeah. facilities and I in Victoria. That, but, uh, we're but talking over 3,000 I mean, uh, infections. For some of these 129, could it be simply a case of one work, worker has tested positive and not necessarily in the home? And I'm, I'm just talking about not necessarily alarming people with that figure. Would they all be classified as an outbreak per se or, or could it be one case linked to them and for now they feel like they've got it under control? Well, in some facilities they will get it under control quickly, but the point is we've now got more than 10 with over 100 infections. Uh, clearly something has gone wrong in aged care in Victoria and it's the federal government's responsibility to make sure that they learnt the lessons of the Northern Hemisphere and what happened in New South Wales so that it did not get to the level it has gotten to in Victoria. 3,000 people, right. either workers or residents, have had an infection in Victoria. It's clearly not good enough and clearly Richard okay. Colbeck didn't do enough in the months between April and the infection so, and outbreak okay, so in Victoria to make sure people were Let ready. me ask this, though. So you're saying Richard Colbeck should go. Does someone need to lose their job uh, from the Victorian government 
for allowing this outbreak out of what was a disastrous hotel quarantine system? Well, what we've had in Victoria is a Premier stand up and take responsibility and take questions every day and do a judicial inquiry into what has happened in Victoria. And I'm sure that that will be dealt with in time in Victoria. What we have here is different in terms of the aged care situation. We have one minister who didn't learn the learnings of what happened in facilities in New South Wales, and then three months later, we have the same things go wrong in facilities in right, Victoria. Right, and I understand that, that you've made that point in terms of those and lessons. And under the federal government's watch. People watching right now will know what's happened in Victoria is all traced back to hotel quarantine. It's all traced back to a very poorly run system, uh, no assistance from the ADF, even though that happened in other states. Yes, Daniel Andrews can say the buck stops with me. What does that mean if there are no no one loses their job as a result. That's not really taking responsibility, is it? Well, I'm sure that Victoria will deal with that down the track. But here, it, what we're talking about with aged care is, is that it's a federal responsibility. The federal government regulates mm. it. They fund it. It was the federal government's responsibility to make sure that staff in facilities had the appropriate training in infection control and use of protection equipment. It's the federal government's responsibility to make sure these facilities had enough protection equipment. It's the federal government's responsibility oh, okay. and I the understand. call about when marks were to and, be and worn. You've, and you've made that so point. So it's absolutely wouldn't, his wouldn't, responsibility. Wouldn't the fact you're calling for the minister to go over what's happened there means someone, you say that will happen down the track, but does that mean someone in Victoria would have to lose their job once we find out who was ultimately responsible for the disastrous hotel that's up quarantine to the, program? That's up to the Victorians and uh, that's up to the Victorians you can have a and view to Premier Dan Andrews to but resolve what's happening in that. The same... uh, I'm, sure, I have but, a view that but this Richard is a Colbeck is not up to his job government. and he's clearly not doing his job. I understand that. He's clearly but, not but doing his job well, here and, voters will and be it's up to the Prime Minister. If he loses his job, someone in Victoria should as well. Surely, surely you can equate that easily. The federal government is responsible for aged care. We're talking about what happened in aged care facilities. Richard Colbeck is ultimately responsible for not having learnt the lessons. Nobody's saying everything should have gone perfectly, but we should have learnt the lessons and he simply did not learn the All lessons right. of what happened in those other facilities.